at uh, Mercer University, and uh, it's a, I think it's a Hilton Garden Inn hotel. Um, there's the charging station. That's hard to see, but because we're facing east. There's the dash, um, 54.7 miles total. You can see we got 53 or 5.3 miles per kilowatt hour. That's fabulous. 35 miles of range left. That's fabulous. Um, Torque Pro says we went 39. Dot, or, um, we've gone 90 miles total. Uh, I can't get that to reset for some reason. But uh, we're going to plug in here and um, get some juice and relax for about 20 minutes or so, and then off we go to Dublin. So I thought I'd show what happens when the car is charging. Um, let's see if I can get the block the sun here a little bit. Oh. Yeah, what the hell. Okay, so um, it's charging. You can see at the top it says 400 volts. And um, we've already put a, a few miles of range into the battery. Um, the cars, the, I'd say the, the engineers uh, designed the charging system expecting that people would charge to 80% most of the time. Um, and they like to use that as a sort of a mantra to try to increase the longevity of the batteries in the EVs. Um, and that that works pretty well. Um, of course, this is a short-range EV, so uh, you're going to see um, you know 70 miles of range total. And if you go to 80%, it's probably more like 60 miles, maybe 55. I never used that rule. I never did the 80% thing. Um, the battery is, I think, 21 kilowatt hours in this car, and they let you have access to about 19 kilowatt hours of it. Um, which means that the 80% rule is 80% of 19 kilowatt hours, not 21 kilowatt hours. So I usually charge just what I need. If I need a full battery, I'll charge to 100%. If I don't, I'll just get what I need to get what I'm on my way most of the time. Um, I'm going to fire up the car and uh, show some of the displays here. So you'll see on the right, now on the dash, it shows the amount of energy going into the battery. 47 kilowatts. That's pretty good. Um, I've got the door open, which is why you're hearing the chime. There we go. Um, so I'm going to zero out the trip meter. And now it's ready for the next leg. And it always resets to 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Rather interesting. Um, the center display in this car is interesting because it's a seven inch screen and uh, it's connected to a, a smartphone that's in the glove box and it's connected via Bluetooth so the the, uh, the link you see here smartphone link when you touch it you have access to apps that are on the phone Bringo is the sat nav app and that's the one that I use for satellite navigation um, there's two others here that are hard to see, but it's Pandora and Stitcher. Um, and I don't use them. And the main reason is because um, they, they take from your data uh, plan, from your uh, cell phone plan. And I always had a, a cell phone plan that had limited data, two gigabytes. So it was kind of pointless to me to use up my data on my cell phone plan listening to music when I've got XM in this car. So if you hit multimedia, there's the XM um, radio, and I've got the sound muted right now. Uh, <clears throat> but um, then I got my T-Mobile plan switched to unlimited data. So maybe I'll go and listen to Pandora or Stitcher. The problem there is that if I'm using the SatNav application, Bringo, then I can't use Pandora or Stitcher because only one app can be active. So that's kind of dumb. Anyway. What I'm gonna...